What's up friends, foes, and subbies? Today I am here with a video talking about what do they call it? Closure. Closure. That's what it is. Um, a lot of times when we get out of a relationship we seek for closure. We want closure but we don't get it. Right? And it's frustrating. We want closure, but we just don't get it. Um, there are a few times where I didn't get closure from broken friendships or broken relationships. And you guys have been with me throughout most of my relationships. Um, I can't say there were many. But um, from the time that I've been on YouTube, I've been on YouTube for about 10 years. You probably only knew about two people which were very important to me and um the third person is the one which is most recent um one of my followers mentioned the other day that she's been following me since she was like in her teens and when i was with my ex um my ex you probably still see videos of me and him from back in the day like i feel like i created vlogs on youtube because back in the day, when YouTube started, I was taking the camera everywhere with me. Um, we were going to the grocery store. We were doing everything together. We were on a vacation. I documented everything. And they're still on YouTube. And it's funny because that's what people do now. Vlogs. Back then, I didn't know what it was called. I just took the camera with me everywhere. And that was over 10 years ago. And I'm so grateful to still have people that are still subscribed to me from that long ago. Anyhow, um, when she brought that up, it kind of made me think about the good old days. The good old days. I don't know what's going on with me if I'm like coming out with hives or something, but I'm like super itchy and I like got these really big welts on me. And sometimes when I get stressed out, I get hives. I never realized that until recently but you probably can't even see but it doesn't even matter um you guys know what's been going on that's for those of you who have been keeping up um I'm a little over the situation with um, my child's father being incarcerated you know that's life I take it as that um I waited for a long time for karma to get him and when the karma finally got him it didn't like satisfy me I'm not satisfied and it's really weird so that kind of makes me realize that I'm not really a bad heart person like I have a really huge heart I don't really like to see my enemies fail period but the point of this video today is finding closure from people, especially closure with a narcissist. You usually never get closure with a narcissist. And I have a few people that are following me um, off of um, my narcissist videos. And there are a few people that have been following me for years that have experienced relationships with narcissists and they can relate to me. And it really sucks that not a lot of people are aware about um, these types of people. So you might be dealing with someone who's a narc and you don't even know it. You might be watching my videos right now. You might think you can relate, but you're not associating your partner as being a narcissist. I'm telling you guys, just look it up. I keep talking about it because I'm trying to bring awareness to people because these types of people can ruin your life. And I don't want your life to be ruined. I don't want to say that my life is ruined. It's just beginning. It's just starting off from a place where it's just harder for me to get on my feet. But it's not impossible. I'm grateful for having the strength that I have. Because a lot of people wouldn't be able to go through what I'm going through. And it's a whole lot. If you've been following my videos, you would know I'm going through a whole lot. And do I have a lot of things um, 
that can help me? No. No. But, um, I really think I have vibes. This is really crazy. And I need to stop stressing because you see my hand? Anyway, guys, I got closure from my ex narc. Verbally, no. Did I get closure from him because he contacted me? No. Did I get a letter? No. I'm expecting to get one, and you know what I'm thinking? I might not get one anytime soon. It might be a year, two, three years from now. But I will guarantee you, when I get that letter, I'm not going to read it before letting you guys know. I'm going to read it on camera. I'm just going to do that. That's how I feel like I should do it. Um, but I am expecting a letter. And the reason why I say that is because, and excuse my voice, I don't know what's going on with it. You know the weather is just bugging and... I usually like refrain from getting sick because I don't know this number. Let's see who's texting me. Anyway, I'm gonna just say hello. Because <laughs> it's 12 10 in the morning. I don't know who would be texting me. Anyway, how I got closure from my ex narcissist. I don't think it was in his plan for me to have closure because I tried to get closure before and it just didn't work. And I realized the type of people um, who are narcissists never want you to have closure because they want you to be miserable. Who is this? Say nothing much. I'm saying sorry but who is this I I really hate whenever people contact me like months like months 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 from the last communication that I've had with them because it's like why are you texting me people need to be consistent if you want to be my friend be consistent because your number is not going to be saved in my phone and that's just that and then people get offended because I don't have their number on my phone. It makes no sense. But anyways, I'm here just talking to you as I usually do as a friend. So if it's choppy, I know you get it. Um, yesterday I went out to eat by myself. It was amazing. It was great. I enjoyed the food. I so enjoyed the food. And I wish that you guys could actually taste what I tasted. Okay. So I'm going through my phone because I want to show you something. So how I got um, closure from my narcissist um, was he posted something on his social media uh, six days ago. I would have never known about this post because I am not following him. He actually blocked me on all social media. Uh, anyway, he blocked me on all social media so I would never know what He's boasting, right? But I got a call over the weekend from two different people asking me if him and I were together or back together. And I'm like, no, we're not back together. Like, he left like seven, eight months ago. I haven't heard from him. I haven't seen him. I don't know anything about him. And they were like, that's funny because he posted you on social media. I said, no, nah, there's no way he posted me, not me. He probably posted somebody that looks like me or something like that, but it's definitely not me. And um, they were like, nope, it's you. When I asked him to send me a screenshot, I didn't get that. So I was frustrated. So I went back to thinking, hmm, who was mutualist friends with him and I when we were actually friends on social media before he bought and I could remember one person so today out of curiosity I hit up that person and I said listen just do me a favor can you go and check his social media 
and tell me if you see my photo there. That's all I need to know. And they ended up sending me a um, screenshot. And sorry, I, let me just put this um, song up. Listen, I like this. I like this song. Sometimes I'll be in the mood to listen to this kind of music. Y'all probably can't even hear it anywhere. But. So he posted something on social media. Which was a photo of me. And him. Which was. Six days ago. And he was incarcerated. Four days ago. So two days before he was incarcerated. He made this post. And he made this post. Now. The post got to me in a sense I hate when people send me a question mark give me a second to respond I'm freaking busy and excuse me guys whenever I use bad language I don't mean to do that sometimes I just forget you know I'm trying to cleanse my palate of the foul language but as far as these posts go these photos I'm thinking this dude is going to post something negative about me. Because, like, why would he post? <coughs> yeah, I'm getting sick. Why would he post anything positive? <laughs> Sorry. This is my cousin asking me, did I get home? I literally just got home and I started making a video for you guys. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Yes, it is. Anywho, guys, I got to clear this up. I ain't trying to be sick. I'm not. So, the first post, <coughs> it says, Old pic, but still remember how I felt in it. When it's real, it's real. And then he put a hundred. And part of me is kind of like, why would he post that? I haven't seen him in eight months. What is going on eight months? I haven't seen him in eight months. I have not communicated with him. Um, We're not friends. Why would he post anything positive about me? Then the last post. He posted, never been a fake one, bro. See how they go hard to slander me when I leave them? And he's talking about all his previous exes. Every relationship that he's ever been in. Um, he's hurt the women so bad that they have done all, like, everything in their power to ruin his life. Um, calling the cops on him. Um, calling family members to beat him up. Um, just whatever. So, basically, that's why he's saying, he goes, they go hard to slander me when I leave them. Not her, though. But me, keep it 100. Always going to be my baby. And always going to have me, just in a different way. Now, that right there was not supposed to be seen by me because I told you he blocked me on social media. But because other people see these messages and you know how people are, gossip, you know, it's TMZ, you, you always gonna find things out. People came to report to me that he was posting me on his social media. That for me is a sense of closure because this person that I was with, this person that hurt me to the core, this person that walked away from me and my son with no valid reason, walked away to go be with numerous other women. Um, he's been with several other women since me. But do you see what he just did? He posted me and said that I was the real one. He posted me and said, I'm always going to be his baby. And am I like melting over it? No, I'm not. Because I know my worth as a woman. 
I don't care what anybody says. What the, the person I was with prior to him, they, he could slander me as much as he want. I don't even care. Slander me as much as you want. You know that I was a good woman, period, point blank. I was a very supportive friend, period, point blank. So the same way I was supportive to my ex-partner, I am with family, I am with f close friends, and period, that's just me. Like, if, if I rock with you, I rock with you. So, again, my closure was to know that it was not me. I was not the problem. I did not cause this to happen. And regardless of you being with several other women after me, he's still boasting me and saying that I was a real one. Should it really matter to me? No. I just felt the need to share with you that you can get closure from a narcissist without even hearing them. Just sit back. Don't try to seek revenge. Don't do that. Because you'll never get your closure. You'll never get it. You just sit back. Let God do the work. Let time just go by. And silence is key sometimes. Now I've just been silent. I didn't try to put him on child support. I didn't call the police or make any like types of um, reports on false claims or even real claims because I have a lot of things that I could have reported but I chose not to because that's just not my style you know what I mean it took a long time for him to get his karma and I was waiting patiently sometimes I was impatient and I was upset with God like why are you allowing this dude to live why am I here and he's chilling in the bar and having a great time and I'm here suffering going broke while this dude has money. It hurt me. But you guys have to realize that karma does come to people and you will get your closure, but don't seek it. Sometimes when you seek your closure, you ain't never gonna find it. I didn't seek it. It came to me. It came to me in that way. It came to me when it wasn't supposed to come. Get me? He had me blocked, so he knows I was never going to see that. He just had to get it off of his chest. Or he probably wanted the other women that he was dealing with to know that they can't compare. Sometimes that's what narcs do. But at least I know my worth. It's not like I didn't know it prior. But it just solidified it. Solidified it. And I got my closure. He's going to be in jail probably for the rest of his life. Who knows? But that's not my business. I wish him the best. I pray for him. Hopefully he finds peace. And um, he realizes the pain that he's put so many women through and so many children through. And ask for forgiveness. That's all I can say. Guys, I literally just came on here to share that with you, that I finally got my closure. It wasn't how I expected I would get it, through apologies or, you know, a letter, which, I, like I told you, I may not get one anytime this year, next year, but I guarantee one day I'm going to come on here and I'm going to read to you a letter that he sent me. Trust me. I'm going to get a lot of <laughs> Not that it means anything to me, though. But, guys, thank you for sitting here for about 20 minutes listening to me and my raspy voice. I love you guys. You guys are the best. I can't thank God enough for this outlet. Great. It's my therapy. And I know I'm therapeutic to some of y'all. So, we will see each other again hopefully soon peace what should I say peace